Good morning, everyone. Um, <clears throat> I thought, seeing as I'm not doing the weekly readings until the weekend, I would do a bonus bonus. And I know you all get excited about the bonus bonus. <coughs> you must excuse that funny little cough, little squawky noise I get when I've got asthma. The star jumping out at me here. All right, so we're going to do a bonus bonus. I thought how much the bonus reading was like the What's Cracking reading again, which sometimes does happen. A little bit of clarification. So we're going to do something different here. At least I'm going to ask <laughs> for something different. We'll use the Mythic Tarot for this reading. Oh, beautiful split right down the middle. <laughs> Eight of Swords coming through. There's something about this mythic tarot. Sometimes when I sort of look at it, I think there's always something I haven't seen before. But there often is with tarot cards anyway. And I think I've been using them for years, decades. <laughs> and I still see things on them and go, wow, I've never noticed that before. But these new decks, like often you see things that you've never seen before. And I know with this, um, the Eight of Swords is a card that talks about sort of being in a self-imposed prison. It's like something is keeping you bound to something. And it's in the traditional tarot, of course, we see a blindfold. So it's like you're not seeing the truth. You're not seeing things for what they are. You're blindly keeping yourself trapped in fear. So, you know, it may be that you're trapped in some way of thinking, some way of doing things. It could be that you're trapped in a relationship. But whatever this is, it's like you can't see your way out because you're looking at it as being a trap. When in fact, you're not trapped at all. You are quite within your resources to move forward. It's your thinking that's got you trapped, not the situation. All right. So we have the Ten of Swords behind that. Now, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Do you see here with the demony things? Because they're still here as well. And they look exactly the same on both cards. So the Ten of Swords. So I'm wondering, is that the person laying on the ground that was the person that was trapped? Yes, radio. So the person that was trapped by their fear is laying on the ground in this card. Okay, so there's a, there's a feeling here that you need to release something. I feel like your fear is very much sort of either anxiety, stress, something that's keeping you locked into this energy and the universe wants you to close out this cycle now. Some sort of fear is stopping you moving forward. It's funny because I get this feeling you want to stop doing this or you want to let go of it, but it's you're finding it really hard to face your demons. And I feel like you're not realizing that you've got the universe behind you here. The universe is fully backing you on this. So something needs to be done because you've got this Ten of Swords here, which means that this cycle needs to close out. Let's see where we're going. So we have the Knight of Wands coming through with the Magician. Oh, wow. This is really beautiful energy here. So the Knight of Wands is taking action. It's a card of action. It's a card of getting out there and doing things. But with the Wands, they talk of passion, of fire, of desire, of all the things that drive us forward. And there is some sort of energy here when you look at it. It's almost like completely the opposite, completely different. So it's like you're being asked to leave behind your fears and anxieties and adopt the energy of the Knight of Wands. So find your passion, find your drive, find what sort of gets you going here because you've got the magician here. So it's like, okay, you have everything you need here. So what you're doubting here is here and it's within you, but it's in your passion, in your drive. But for some unknown reason, you're keeping yourself away from it. It's almost like you've forgotten who you are. 
let's have a look where we're going. All right, so we have the tower coming through. So the tower is a card that talks of faulty foundations. This is a faulty foundation. This fear that you're feeling here that's all in your head that restricts you from having what you want is a faulty foundation. So I fear that you're getting the same sort of reading here as what you got in the other two. So it's obviously very potent energy in the universe at the moment. So what I'm hearing here is whatever this is you believe about yourself, whatever sort of fear you're carrying here with this Eight of Swords that is keeping you trapped in this prison, where it, whether it's fear, self-doubt, whatever it is, it's not, it's not real. Because the tower is saying whatever you built this on is false. It's a load of car car. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's not real. So the universe is saying you have neglected here to let go of this energy. You have held on to this energy and it does not serve you any longer. So here we go. This little guy has poked you with a stick several times and you have not listened and he is now ready to poke to throw the stick at you. <laughs> That's what I always say. So there you go. That's what the tower's doing. It's breaking down all of these ideas, all of these things that you think belong to you and taking them away. All right, so here we have, and I've got a really funny light. Sometimes this is, and it doesn't matter what I do to adjust it. It just always does that. All right, we've got the, the five of pentacles. We have the card of the lovers coming through. Hey, there we go. No, still not doing it. All right, false alarm. The <laughs> Queen of Pentacles coming through. So let's have a look and see what we're doing here. This is really different. Sometimes I sit the cards down and I think the energy here is really different. So the tower talks about breaking down structures. It talks of, you know, things being built on a faulty foundation. In other words, you've created something in your head here that really isn't right. Your imagination has run away with you. You've got an idea about something that it isn't there. It has something to do with love for some of you. Maybe love, how you get love, how you receive love. But it's something here with this five of pentacles that makes you feel that you've been left out in the cold. So some way in the some way here, you're creating some sort of love or idea of love in yourself that's constantly making you feel like you're either not good at love, you don't deserve love, all of the stuff that sits in that tower. So you may have this idea that love comes a certain way. And I watched something the other day which made me realise how people look for love on the outside of themselves. Because love's a feeling that you create within. People can only give it to you if they want to. And there is something here in the way you see love or yourself in love that is not working for you anymore. Because the Five of Pentacles is here, saying you feel left out in the cold here. So maybe you've had something happen where you felt left out in the cold by someone. And the universe is saying that's how you're seeing it, but it's not how it is. Let me just, you may feel someone else has made a choice over you here with the lovers. You may feel that someone has made a choice of someone else over you. When in reality, okay, right now I'm getting it. I feel like for some of you here, you feel somebody else, maybe it's not just a person, maybe you feel people pick something else over you. Maybe you feel that people don't see you here with this five of pentacles. Maybe somehow or another you feel like in relationships or in love relationships that people don't see your value because you are the queen of pentacles. So there's very much this energy of 
feeling like in relationships that people don't see you for who you are. And sometimes you feel that perhaps people walk away or choose something else over you because you do not have this value that you feel you need. So maybe you feel like you need something that you're missing here. Let me just get really into it. It's really interesting energy and I know someone needs to hear it. So we have the three of wands here with the wish card, the nine of cups and the five of swords. I feel like somebody here that I am speaking to and maybe many of you feel that you don't have something that it takes to create a relationship or to create love. There's very much this energy here that you're looking at love in a almost like when it doesn't go right, that it's your fault or your problem. You may have had a situation here where somebody has left you behind and perhaps you feel has chosen someone else over you here. When in fact, it's not how it is. But that's the way you're seeing it. And I feel like the universe is saying to you here that you see yourself as perhaps not being good enough, not being the right type of person, when in reality, it's not about you at all. This is your faulty foundation. Why do you feel that when love doesn't work out, that it's your issue, your problem. Because something here is saying to me that actually this is getting over this hurdle is what's going to move you forward in life here. Okay, let me just keep going. All right, so we have the page of pentacles. In this one, he only has a very small pentacle. See, the other one, he has a huge pentacle. Two of wands. Okay, page of swords. I feel like this learning here is going to set you off in a completely different direction in life. I really feel that perhaps you have this idea of love that when things don't go in the way they were supposed to, that it's something you've done, something you've done wrongly, and you may be sort of giving yourself a hard time over this. But something's going to be presented to you that you will realise here that it's not yours to own with the tower here. So it's sort of the similar energy to the other two readings, really. And I did try to do a reading that was different, but the energy coming through here is really potent and really worth investigating. But I could sit here for hours pulling apart the energy here. There's like this feeling that when you feel that somebody's left you behind or when you feel that you don't come out on top with something and if somebody has chosen to move in a different direction to you or has moved away from you, that somehow it is your fault that you have done something wrong, that you didn't do the right thing. And especially if a person's ghosted you or not given you an explanation you have taken this on board as being your issue, your problem, you did something wrong. And I'm here to tell you, it is not how it is here. This energy that you hold on to, that makes you feel less than, is not yours to own. This is what was coming through very, very strongly in the other cards. Somebody's going to put this right for you. You're either going to get a message or some information here that's going to help you move forward on a very different path. I feel that you've been blaming yourself for problems or issues in your relationships. May not necessarily always be in a loving relationship as in terms of romantic. This could be in a lot of relationships that you have had along the way. You might always feel that it's you, that you are the one that can't make things work. You are the one that has these issues and problems and things go wrong. It's like you've been constantly blaming yourself for something here. It's the negativity. It's the Ten of Swords energy. It's got to go. All right, let's have a look at it closer. See, you're in this energy, this sort of almost a self-sabotage energy here of believing that you're always to blame. This is your own demons here coming forward. 
the universe is saying here it's got to stop it's got to stop we've got to let it go you need to move on now you need to embrace your passion and you need to get into manifestation look at this there's the truth this is the truth here this is the truth not this lie that you have built your life on it is not it's not real I mean, you must be really good if you see somebody walk away from you or you see a situation break down or you have to call a relationship or something off um, and you're not seeing it as it was. You're seeing it as it's something to do with you. And I feel like somebody's either walked away from you or you've had a situation here. And again, it could be a family member, it could be a friend. But you are constantly going back and blaming yourself for that. Why are you blaming yourself? Do you not think that somehow or another it was a choice someone else made? Maybe you're harboring the idea of this rejection thing that is a lie. You are not rejected. If someone chooses someone else over you, that is not a rejection. That is simply that the person chose to go in a different direction. And you've got to learn to see it that way. But somebody's going to make this right for you. Somebody's going to either explain to you or somehow or another give you some sort of insight in something you've been seeing the wrong way because you're breaking down this tower here. Oh, look at this. Holy dooly really landing that one aren't you somebody is putting something right in the universe spirit is sending someone through for you on a knight of swords so they're coming in with the truth here for you to understand here look at this so for some of you this person may be coming in to offer you the friendship or yeah look you have the emperor here wow i could do this in a three-part series today some of you have got somebody coming in to offer you something that you felt that you had been left behind on. Someone left you out in the cold here. Whoever this person is, they're rushing in with this ace. Look at this. Someone is coming in to give you the very thing here that you built a faulty foundation on. So maybe with this tower here, you had an idea that somebody had left you behind when in fact they see you here as the Queen of Pentacles. Your wish is about to come true here. Somebody is coming back in to put that right, to put it straight, to let you know that that wasn't the way you saw it. And it's helping you to change your viewpoint. You're realising that this isn't the only thing you do this with. You may be... Oh, <laughs> I don't know where that went. You may be a person that constantly blames yourself for things when they go wrong. No, we might read. No, all right, we'll go back to the journey of love. That seems to be the card of the day today, the card deck of the day. All right, journey of love. The choice. <laughs> That is hilarious. Okay, 62. The choice. Can't make this up, right? There is a choice that you need to make. You are aware of it already or it is coming to your awareness very soon. Embrace the unknown and say yes. You have the opportunity to enrich your world, to receive and therefore be able to share much more. If anxiety or fear arises, guilt or shame, treat it as the cleansing of your emotional waters as they receive so much more inflow from the divine ocean. Let the old layers rise to the surface of your awareness to be washed away. There it is. What seems to be much in the context of your own emotional waters is not so much at all when compared to the great ocean it's capable of holding. So let the divine ocean take the old, 
washing it away from you and replenishing you with the new, that you may serve life all the better. This oracle brings you guidance. It's safe to choose now. There is no wrong choice, just a choice that resonates with your heart. If it is challenging you, that is an opportunity for you to let the divine cleanse and lift you into the vibration where you feel at peace with your choice, where you can accept the grace it will bring to you. Do this now. It is your time to step up. Make your life easier on yourself and open to love in a more trusting way. Come now. The divine is calling you out to play. Okay, I'll read you the poem here. Our lives are measured in choices we have made along the path we call living. Each compass point a possibility, each step an opportunity, seemingly random, each decision moves us inexorably in a direction, both unknown and yet somehow familiar. For upon reflection, the strength we find in choosing or the surrender of letting all unfold leads us to the place we started from when we made that first choice to be here again. Wow. Wow. Well, there you go. That sort of clarified the other two readings a little bit, didn't it? Have a great day.